Hello everyone, this is Mac, and today I'm working on a 2008 Ford Focus. It has a upper radiator hose leak, so I'm going to uh, walk you through the steps on how to replace that. It's not too hard. Um, I'm just an old shade tree mechanic, been doing this since I was 12 years old. What happened when my dad started out and I work on all my vehicles. And I'm just doing this right out in the front driveway, so if I can do it, Pretty much anybody could do it. Uh, just takes a few basic tools and I'll uh, walk you through this and we'll get it done. Okay, it's pretty bright out here today, so I'm hoping it don't um, wreak havoc on my video, but uh, I've already loosened up some of these bolts here. I'm gonna take this uh, intake uh, air cleaner component out. It's just a box because the hose is down up under there. So uh, I've got to remove that so I can show you um, but the hose goes back up in here, so I'm going to disconnect this too. It's just the, the rubber part. And uh, I might have to move the computer, unbolt it, and pull it out of the way just to get to that clamp that's back up in there. You can't really see it yet because there's too much stuff in there. So I'm going to set this uh, camera up here, and uh, we'll get to it. Okay, so you just need a 8 millimeter socket on these uh, little screws here, and I've already got them... Um, loosened up we'll just pull these right out i'm going to take this here out air cleaner box and you need a screwdriver for this uh clamp here it just pulls right off like that now, this is kind of tricky because it's kind of a tight fit down in here and you got these clips that are down here that hold the um, lid on just move it out of the way there's your air cleaner. And when you pull it out, it's kind of tricky. Like a puzzle. I'm trying to get it out of here. Kind of wiggle it and lean it over like that. And it'll just pop right out. There we go. <clears throat> see hose is right here this is the hose goes up here connects and uh, I've already got a pan under here to catch fluid so make sure you get a make sure you get, put a pan up under the catch your radiator fluid and uh, I'm gonna move this out of the way while I'm up here just unscrew that clamp and this will pop right off i'm just gonna move it right out of my way here oh man the camera almost fell <laughs> uh, here's the hose and it goes up in there i'm trying to make some room see if i can get some pliers up in here for that clamp so i'll show you that here in a minute uh, i'm gonna go ahead and open this valve up okay right there is the drain plug for your radiator so i'm fixing to open that up let that be draining and then, like I said, here's the hose, and it connects. That glare, that sounds terrible. Right, right up in there, and it's just a, it's a little uh, metal clip. It don't have a clamp on it like normal. I don't like these metal clips because I just don't know what keeps it from leaking. I don't like that design at all. But it's up in there. We'll pull that clip out, and then this hose will come right off. But it's leaking right around. It's leaking right around here where it connects with this hose right in here. That's where it was dripping right in there. All right, I'm gonna try to video this and see if I can get up in there, but I've got this little screwdriver here. Just get it here in this clip. I can see. to do this in one hand and videotape yourself at the same time.
There we go. Got it. Fell right into the water. Knew that was going to happen. I'll just pull this out here. I can get it. There we go. There it is right there. The end of it. That's what the end looks like. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try. I've got these long pliers in here. And I think you can see the clamp that it's connected to right there. So it's kind of a tight fit. Uh, I didn't really want to mess with this. But if I have to, I can just unbolt two or three bolts and pull it out. But I'm going to try to get this clamp out. I can squeeze it. Okay, so you can see the clamp there. I did get it worked, worked back, and I just used uh, these long needle nose. These are bent, but it, it'd be, they worked. It'd be better if they were straight, but I was able to get on the clamp. I had to put the camera down, use both hands, but um, I got it. And so the, uh, the hose should just pull right off. There we go, there we go. That's the culprit right there. I'm going to run down to O'Reilly's and get one. I think they had one for like 49 bucks. So I'm going to run down there and get one of them. Okay, I got a new hose here. And it comes with a clip. You can see there's a clip. And that's, this is the old clip. So that's what it looks like. And like I said, when you go to take it off, you just take a little screwdriver. You can get right in there. And it'll just pop right out. You see it moving? And... You just snap, uh, snaps into those grooves there. So that's what it looks like. Now I'm going to put this clamp here on this end and put it back there, up in there. And when you do that, you want to make sure that the clamp is up in this position because you've got room up here to get to it. If you put it off to the side or something like that, you're not going to be able to get to it. So make sure it's sticking up where you can get a pair of pliers on there. So anyway, I'm fixing to uh, stick that up in there and put that on. Okay, I got the new hose on there. If you can see up in there, there's a clamp. Right there. So that's on good. And then, let's see if I can turn this around where you can see up here. And then you push this all the way till it bottoms out, as far as you can push it. All the way till it just won't go any further. You'll feel it kind of give because it's got an O-ring in there and it'll kind of snap into place. And then you then you put the uh, spring in there. And that's what it looks like. Pretty simple. Okay, so we're just going to put this back together in reverse order. Don't forget to tighten up your radiator plug down in there. Uh, tighten it up so that fluid don't come out. It's easier to get to it because it's right there before you put all this stuff back together. So we're going to put this hose back on here. I'll tighten it down in a minute. And I'm put this big box back here. And just got to kind of work it in there. the easiest i've had this out several times and that's probably the easiest it's <laughs> well it just fell right in there and up under this box here it's got a little uh like a little leg that goes down into a rubber grommet so make sure it goes down in there good This thing here has got some tabs on it. These tabs here go in these slots here. And put 
this hose right here back on. There we go. Don't forget the latch. It's got three latches on it. All right. I'm tighten up all these clamps here. They don't have to be too tight, just snug real good. Alrighty. You got the two long bolts that go down in here. And then a little short one right in here. Tighten that down. And then um, I'm gonna reuse the antifreeze. I always use a clean container. So I'm gonna uh, pour the antifreeze back in my radiator. And then I also bought some extra in case I lost any. I can top it off. So let the engine warm up a little bit and then check your uh, radiator fluid level and you should be good to go. That's all it is to it. Okay, I hope this video helped you out. Um, I'm going to put a link at the top to another video that I made um, on the same car, 2008 Ford Focus. I replaced the uh, engine motor mounts. Uh, the lower one was the one that was bad, but I replaced the right one. And the left one was good. Um, it hadn't been changed but about a year ago, so it was okay. But I had real bad, real bad vibration in it. This car has got a uh, history of bad vibrations in these engine mounts so i've got a video to that and i'll link it at the top check that out so anyway i appreciate you watching if you uh like this subscribe i'll have some more videos coming out um and i appreciate you watching thank you